As the 2016 season approached in Tallahassee, Florida, the national spotlight shined brighter on Florida State football than ever before. Showtime Network's second season of A Season With was given an all-access pass to cover the Seminoles from the first practice to the final whistle. So for us, when we were talking to Coach Fisher uh, earlier this year, um, we were very upfront with access that we needed, and, and that was complete access. Uh, it's not like you can go to this meeting and not that meeting, or you can mic this player and not this player. As Florida State mounted the largest comeback win in school history in their season opener against Ole Miss, Showtime's locker room and sideline presence started to become more apparent. The, the game was Monday night. It was the only Monday night game. There was no NFL games. I mean, it was a lot of pressure on these guys because they had not only the national spotlight on them, but which the viewers see, but then they have us there as well that see all the tiny little cracks, all the emotion that nobody else gets to see, so. Typically, Florida State football games are slated for Saturday, giving the crew more than enough time to prepare for the Tuesday show. But with the Ole Miss game scheduled for a Monday night, the crew worked harder than ever in preparation for their own season debut. We literally woke up Monday morning at about 7 o'clock in the morning, and we didn't go to bed until Tuesday night at around midnight, so it was about 42 straight hours. Uh, we went straight from the game, had a police escort to take us to a post-production facility in Orlando. We finished a show in Orlando about 2 o'clock. And while Showtime has nearly 35 crew members stationed in Tallahassee and traveling with the team this season, another 30 remain at their headquarters in Los Angeles, where the show is written, edited, and produced. What we did is we edited the last probably 10 minutes uh, of the first episode in Orlando. And then when we were done with that, we sent it back to California. They married it with the rest of the show. And then that's the show that aired Tuesday night. While the Seminoles season got off to an electric start, the injury to star safety Derwin James came at one of the most inopportune times in week two. The coverage that followed would leave a sour taste in the mouth of Seminole fans nationwide. We were able to follow that injury from when it happened to when he got walked off the field to when he goes into the injury tent that nobody gets to see. We had a camera in that tent and then we had a camera literally right on the cart with him as the cart took him off the field to go into the locker room and pretty much for the rest of the night all the way up until about 11 o'clock that night. But losing your best player on defense is no easy task to deal with, especially when it's a week before one of the toughest games of the year. And FSU's showdown with Louisville provided the first setback of a season that had just gotten underway. We actually, we become part of the team because we're with them so much that if there's a victory, it's great. If there's a loss, it's really, really hard just because you're with them, you feel the emotions. It, it was obviously a very hard time uh, after the Louisville loss this year. Nobody expected that and things were very tense um, the next few days. And, and not that the coaches, uh, honestly were that tense. It was just kind of the, the atmosphere. You were, okay, how's the team going to respond? What's coach going to do? Is he going to do our interviews? Is, are we still going to get going to get the same access? And luckily for us, nothing really changed. In the weeks that would follow Florida State's first loss of the year, the Seminoles were faced with a challenge. Let it define you or let it drive you. So with sports documentaries, that's the thing that's the reason why I love doing them, is because they're real, they're raw, you see people's real emotion. There's no staging, we're not telling Coach Fisher what to do, we're not telling these players what to do. Along with more than 10 robotic camera locations set up in the different training and meeting rooms, the Showtime camera crew is comprised of four teams that work on a rotating six-day schedule, gathering upwards of 180 hours of footage a week. We work six days a week, at least 13 hours a day. A lot of times we'll go over, but, um, and sometimes we work more than six days. And it's a physically demanding job. In order to get the stories that we tell, we have to shoot that much to capture those moments real. Because there's no second chance. If you miss that moment, you miss it. We don't ask anybody to do things again. We don't ask anybody to have conversations again. So we have one opportunity to get it. A season with has captured the attention of Florida State fans across the country. Despite already knowing the final score of the game from days prior, Fans continue to tune in, wanting more. I'm Brian Beatty for Seminole Sports Magazine.